Hello and welcome to Cần Thơ News of Cần Thơ Radio and Television Station. Here are today's headlines. From May 9 to May 12, the 23rd session of the National Assembly Standing Committee convened. Cần Thơ City of Vietnam and Nasushi Obara City of Japan conducted an online signing of a memorandum of cooperation in the fields of agriculture and tourism. Airports served nearly 37 million passengers in the first four months. From May 9 to May 12, the 23rd session of the National Assembly Standing Committee convened. At this meeting, the National Assembly Standing Committee will give opinions on important issues, including social economics and state budget reports. Specifically, at this meeting, the National Assembly Standing Committee will consider and give opinions on bills including law on credit institutions amended, land law amended, law amending and supplementing some articles of the law on exit and entry of Vietnamese citizens and the law on entry, exit, transit and residence of foreigners in Vietnam. In addition, the meeting will also consider and approve the draft resolution of the National Assembly Standing Committee on the arrangement of administrative units at district and commune levels in the period of 2023 to 2030 and many other important content. On May 8 afternoon, Cần Thơ City of Vietnam and Nasushi Obara City of Japan conducted an online signing of a memorandum of cooperation in the field of agriculture and tourism. Speaking at the event, Mr. Zheng Vic Jung, chairman of the City People Committee, expressed his appreciation for the cooperation relationship with Nasushi Obara City. The cooperation content will soon be coordinated and implemented to help celebrate the 50th anniversary of establishing diplomatic relations between Vietnam and Japan. According to the leader of the City People's Committee, the signing of cooperation between the two cities is expected to bring practical effects to people and businesses, contributing to building a healthy relationship between Vietnam and Japan. There are currently successful Japanese businesses operating in Cần Thơ, and the city has also constructed a Vietnam-Japan industrial park to encourage Japanese investors. The mayor of Nashishi Obara City, Mr. Watanabe Michitaro, stated that by signing the agreement, the two cities would create more focused cooperation to complement one another's strengths and meet their respective city needs for development cooperation. The mayor also pledged to make an effort to promote connectivities so that more Japanese investors know about Cần Thơ City. The Propaganda and Education Board of Cần Thơ City Party Committee coordinated with the City Department of Education and Training to organize a scientific workshop on the current situation and solutions for investment and development of education and training in Cần Thơ City. Attending the workshop were Mr. Nguyễn Ngọc Tâm, Head of the Propaganda and Education Board of the City Party Committee, Mr. Nguyễn Xuân Hải, Standing Vice Chairman of the City People Council, and Mr. Yung Tung Hing, Standing Vice Chairman of the City People Committee. In the period of 2015-2020, the field of education and training of Cần Thơ City was consolidated and expanded in the direction of standardization and quality. The network of schools, classes, and students at all levels has been raised by the end of 2020, the total number of schools meeting national standard is 362 over 459, an increase of 174 schools compared to 2015, reaching nearly 79%. Vocational and higher education institutions continue to thrive. 90 vocational education institutions, 5 universities and 2 university institutions. This is an opportunity to comprehensively evaluate the leadership, direction, and implementation of Resolution Number 29 associated with the implementation of the party's resolutions and directive in the field of education and training, and at the same time, set out tasks and solutions to accelerate the fundamental and comprehensive renovation of education and training in Cần Thơ City. Japan and South Korea are currently the two leading countries in terms of foreign direct investment in Vietnam these are the two major economic partners of Vietnam, accounting for more than 20% of Vietnam's total trade turnover with the world. Accordingly, products coming from Vietnam to Japan have a competitive tax advantage. For instance, when exporting textiles to Japan, Vietnam enjoys a 0% tax rate, but China and Bangladesh are subject to a 5-11% to tax. 
or when it comes to the category of aquatic goods. China and India are subject to a tax of 6 to 12 percent when exporting to Japan, compared to Vietnam's 0 percent tax rate. Similarly, goods from Vietnam also have a better competitive advantage than other countries when exporting to Korea. More than 97% of goods exported from Vietnam to Korea enjoy a tax rate of 0%. Especially starting in 2024, fruit from Vietnam will enjoy a tax rate of 0% under the Vietnam-Korea Free Trade Agreement, while other countries in the Asian region will still be subject to a 36% tax or from China with 27%. The State Bank has just issued document number 3205 to credit institutions and foreign bank branches regarding some of the problems in the operation of credit institution and foreign bank branches. Accordingly, the State Bank requires credit institution to continue improving credit quality and minimize the arising of new Group 2 debts and bad debts which pay attention to strict control of credit quality's area of potential risk. The State Bank also requested credit institutions to continue to drastically implement measures to recover bad debts and debts that have used provisions to handle risk. Joint stock credit institutions strictly comply with the law on share ownership and credit extension to shareholders and related persons Credit institutions whose share ownership exceeds the prescribed limit must urgently implement solutions to drastically deal with this problem and closely coordinate with major shareholders to develop solutions to divest capital according to regulations and direction of authority level to comply with the provisions of the law. Gangtai University of Technology has just held the closing ceremony for the official survey to serve the evaluation of five university-level training programs. The five programs include Information Systems, Electrical and Electronic Engineering Technology, Industrial Management, Control Engineering Technology and Automation, Construction Engineering Technology. Accordingly, from May 5 to May 8, the university invited the evaluation team of Education Accreditation Center University of Da Nang to conduct the official survey for the evaluation of these five training programs. The team conducted a survey based on 11 groups of standards, such as the objectives and output standards of the training program, the structure and content of the curriculum, assessment of the learning outcomes of learners, a team of lecturers and researchers, facilities and equipment, training results. The Chamber of Education and Training of Kairang District has just organized a district-level painting contest for the school year 2022-2023 for students in preschool, kindergarten, primary, secondary school, and high school in the district. The painting contest is a meaningful cultural activity in organizing the teaching of current fine arts and at the same time creating a healthy playground for students to practice their skills and show off their skills. After the contest, the District Chamber of Education and Training will reward the candidates with high prizes and choose to participate in the city-level competition in the future. Following the strong recovery momentum in 2022, the peak period of debt in the first quarter of 2023 and the last holiday of April 30 to May 1st helped the air transport market continue to increase, helping airlines take up spectacularly. Statistics of the Civil Aviation Authority of Vietnam In the first four months of the year, airports countrywide welcomed nearly 37 million passengers, an increase of 55% over the same period in 2022, with both international and domestic arrivals growing strongly, of which airlines transported 9.7 million international passengers, up 976% year-on-year and 27.2 million domestic passengers, up 18%. Domestic airlines alone carried 18.2 million passengers in the first four months of the year, up 56% over the same period in 2022. Here are today's weather forecasts.
thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.